hello guys welcome back to my channel and uh, today i'm your tutor i'm going to uh, to teach you how to use this microsoft word so that you can be able to use on your daily basis for those who don't know about this program in fact this is the program which is a center of other programs within the microsoft office uh, for you to know this program it means that it will open for you the avenue of knowing uh, other programs like uh, microsoft excel PowerPoint publisher and uh, others so for you to understand those remaining programs you are supposed to be good in Microsoft Word and to start this uh, lesson I want you to understand that uh, whatever you are seeing this white uh, background you are seeing here is what we call the text area this text area is the place where you can be able to type your text and then uh, you can be able to print that work uh, what you are supposed to do within this text area is for you to type any text. So I'm going to start by typing the text there and I say this is this is computer. Well now this is the text that I have written here. As you can see it is just small and if I want to enlarge this text to, uh, to look big I'll have to uh, highlight that's the whole of that uh, statement and then I come here to this uh, big A then when I click several times it will keep increasing this particular uh, statement so uh, if I want to go back which means I have to highlight once again using a mouse and then uh, I, I click on this small A and it will bring this work back to how it was so if I want to use another alternative, I'll just come and use where well, you have seen 20. I'll have to click, uh, there's, an, uh, there's a button there. I'll have to click on that button, which means I have to choose which, uh, the, the, the kind of a font that I want, uh, like a font size I want. If I want 36, I have to choose 36. And then that is just another alternative of increasing the, the font size. And uh, another thing is that uh, if I want to enlarge, I mean, I want to, 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 uh, to use another font uh, for this. As you can see, this is what we call Calibri body. And uh, I want to just pick another font. I don't want this one. So I'll just come and click on uh, this button, uh, which is just next to that Calibri body. And you can see there are several fonts. You can see I've chosen this one is what we call monotype monotype cassiva I uh, just want to choose like this uh, Algerian you can see Algerian looks like this if I want to choose another font you just come there and then you pick another font uh, like Aereo what you can pick that one there that is what you call Arabic type setting you can pick that one so there are many kind of fonts within this area here if you scroll they, ha they, ha they have arranged them in alphabetical order you can use many fonts as as you like well, if you can ask me the, the official size for text, it can be which size? Well, the official type, it can be 12. I think 12 is the official one. And uh, some of you could be asking me questions like, uh, how can you be able to color this particular text? Well, to color this text, you are supposed to highlight using a mouse, or you can click uh, Control and you Control and A. If I want to highlight all console a I can be able to highlight all that is when I'm using a keyboard then I can I can highlight in that way and then after finishing to highlight which means I I'll be able to come to this a which has a dash below it so I click uh, just aside it there's what you call uh, uh, an arrow facing down which means I'll come and choose any kind of color that I want uh, to use on that text and if you want to bring this particular text in the middle which means you have to highlight and then you come here uh, there's what you call center you click on this it will bring at the center and if, if you want to bring it to the right side which means you have to click on that uh, uh, the align to the right and then it will come uh, to that side and if you want to uh, bring it back to the right the, the left hand side which means you have to come here and then you click it will be on the left side uh, the left hand side uh, if I want to uh, to make this particular text bold thicker, I will have to click on this bold, and uh, this is how it will appear. 
and uh, if I want to make it italic, it will look like this. If I want to underline, it will look like this. And if I want to remove that underline, still I'll have to click on that U, and I click on this to, to bring it back to normal. So in case you don't know, this particular uh, tools you are seeing, this B, I, U, once you click on it, it will bring, it will take effect of this particular text. And once I click there again, it will remove that effect. And uh, uh, some of you have been asking in case uh, you want to put bullets. Well, if you want to put bullets, you are supposed to come here. Uh, well, you highlight or you can click just here at the, at the back. And then you'll be able to click on any kind of bullet you want. If you want to put number bullet, you can as well come and uh, select which uh, any kind of bullet you want to use on your text. That is if you want to use bullet. And uh, the good thing with the bullet is that once you have inserted the bullet for the first uh, sentence, which means once you click enter using a mouse, it will again uh, bring another bullet automatically. Like if I want to say this is computer program you can see it has uh, another bullet which is a second and as you can see there's uh, a gap between them and I don't want this gap in order to remove this gap you are supposed to highlight once again and then you come to this uh, two pointed arrow uh, there's an arrow which is pointing down which means it is in double space you are supposed to come and I click 1.0 and if it does not remove that particular gap, you can still come and click remove space after paragraph. So you can see, you can remove the, uh, the space between the two what? The two lines. Well, um, some of you have been asking me about uh, the issue of uh, 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 increasing what we call intent and reducing intent. You can come on, uh, to this particular arrow here to increase intent, which means you can still push this one in the middle or to that side, or you can re reduce intent by bringing back to where it was. Well, uh, when you look at these particular tools here, I have explained several of them, of which they will be very important for you to use. Uh, as you can see, this program, it has the ruler. As you can see, there's this ruler. Uh, you can this ruler helps you to uh, to, to to type the text uh, beginning from any measurement that you can see like I want to use this I want to enlarge this ruler by coming here up to here which means my text will begin right uh, from the start of my ruler and you can see here if I want to uh, enlarge this particular ruler to God which means the text will begin exactly where the ruler has begun the white part of the ruler as you can see this white part of the ruler this one and here it means that the text will begin exactly from that point well uh, you can see this particular issue you can see this uh, these other tools here like if I want to highlight and then I come here you can see there's no space it will move that huge space which was uh, between the what uh, the text and uh, if I want to come here, I'll have to bring it back to where it was. And uh, if I want to click on underline, uh, this one heading, you can hit, click on the heading like that, it will bring it to where it was. Uh, within this, you can still highlight and then you come back to 1.0 or you come and I click uh, remove uh, space, means, uh, remove space after paragraph. Well, uh, with this, I think uh, you can see these tools. Uh, we call it Home what? Home Tools. But with other Microsoft Word, you can find they have written here File, and then Home, Insert, what. So uh, I'll be driving uh, some of these lessons so that you can be able to understand how you can be able to use Microsoft uh, Word. Uh, in text so I'm going to illustrate to you how you can be able to insert a table using this particular Microsoft Word well uh, if you want to use this program in terms of inserting a table you are supposed to come uh, to this call insert when you click insert you will see several other tools that you are supposed to use in terms of uh, 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 using this particular program 
but our main objective is about the table as i have told you earlier so for you to use this you are supposed to come here to table and then you can see you can use a table you can just come and then you highlight like this the table will come automatically on the background depending on how many uh, columns and rows you want if you want like two columns and three rows that is how the table will appear so and if you want to delete this table you'll come here to this uh, eraser and then you highlight like this the table will, will be off so one thing with this program if you double click like this which means that is the place you will start typing so the blinking uh, thing you are seeing there is what we call the cursor so once you you click on 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 an area here like i want to click down here as i bring this cursor here down here and i double click which means that is where i'm going to start to type so back to the table if i want to insert the table in another way i'll just come to use I, i'll use this one called uh, insert i'll use insert and then i'll choose the number of columns i want like if i want six columns and then uh, 10 rows that is how my table will look like and if i want to enlarge these particular uh, columns i'll have to uh, make them like this just point at the middle or at the border of any line you are seeing uh, using a mouse and then you drag it hold down as you drag it uh, in any direction that you want you can see you, you can be able to enlarge this so which means with this table you can be able to only type anything you want like here you can just say uh, see that is serial number you can just say you can put uh, items for those who who, who like uh, using tables in quotations you can that is how you can start uh, I can still erase this one as I told you, uh, you can come here to eraser and then you can erase the table like this. Or let me go back. You can uh, highlight the table in this form and then you, you right click just in the middle. You can see there's what we call, uh, uh, no, let me, let me just uh, highlight, uh, just, just one highlight on the two. And then if you right click, you'll see delete what? delete cell so for me since i just want to delete the whole table i'll click the entire what column if you click the entire column it means that the whole column uh, will go with uh, with the rows at because columns are the ones which have hold those rows so when columns are not there which means rows will not be there so uh, to go back to the table i just want to draw the table you click on draw the table draw the table and you'll draw the table depending on how you want it to, to be how many rows you want how many columns you'd wish that table to have the good thing with drawing the table is that you can design it in a, in a, in a good manner whereby you can dissect this particular uh, column into different uh, cells you can make them to look like yeah, many of them with different styles as you can see here I have I just want to partition here uh, this particular method is good it, it is just a good method that will allow you to draw the table in a free form you can just draw the table you can design a table in a free form there are some tables which are just being designed so for you to insert uh, it will disorganize you because inserting it is just a one-way move but with this, you can be able to draw and design your table in a manner that you want. That is all about uh, inserting the table uh, using this particular program. Well, uh, to go back, I just want to go back or I just want to delete this table. I, just, I don't want it uh, because I have just used it for illustration. I uh, just want to delete uh, this the whole of it so there's one thing here that you are supposed to understand again uh, shapes and all these tools are in what in insert there's what we call shapes if you want to put a shape in this particular uh, program you just come uh, to these shapes I can just choose like this 
and then I draw the shape. And once you click on, once you draw the shape, it will auto automatically, uh, automatically bring this thing called format. This format has got tools that will make you uh, design this particular object. As you can see, there's color tool. There's color tool. There's, uh, there are many kind of tools you can use, but they only appear when you click on this particular object. Failure to click on it, those tools will not appear. You can even use these particular tools which are here. Any tool that you are seeing here uh, is, is good for uh, making sure that this particular object look in a different shape. Like, for example, I want to change the shape of this object by coming here. You can see the, the shape has changed. I can, uh, this one is what we call 3D effect. If I want to make it in this manner, it will be just like medicine, something of the, like a drug. If I want to return it to normal, it will be like this. If I want to remove like shadow, it has a shadow. Like for example, this is a shadow. I have put a shadow in this, which means I, I'll come to shadow effect and then I remove. If I want to maintain that shadow, which means I'll have to leave it like that. It, it is an object, but with a shadow. So with this program, uh, for example, you can uh, draw another program uh, like this. Just want to draw a, a triangle. And with this triangle, you can see it is in front of this particular uh, object, the one that I've, I've drawn earlier, which means I just want to make this triangle uh, to be behind the rectangle, which means I have to click on send back. So this triangle will be behind the rectangle. And I want to color that triangle in this manner. So this is how you can be able to play on front, back, front, back. So having known all this, these particular shape tools, these tools, they go hand in hand with what we call word art. With word art, you can be able to, to, to design any word. There's any kind of design that you can see there, which means you can be able to click on any word art and then you type your text. Like I'm just maintaining the same thing. This is this is computer. And then if you want to change any font, you just come here and then you can change any particular font that you know it is better for you. And then you click like that. So since it is here, I just want to bring it down. I'll have to click on text wrapping and then I click in front, which means I have to drag this downward like this and uh, I, have a, I have already created the text in this manner. The good thing with this uh, word art is that you can enlarge this particular text in, uh, in any shape that you want. You can even put it like this. You can see you, have, you are changing it. You are changing the shape of this particular object. And if I want to remove, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a shadow and that shadow uh, is not good for this particular text. So I want to remove it by coming here to shadow effect and then I click there. I have already removed that shadow. If I want to color this particular text, I'll come here to shape fill and uh, I'll be able to, uh, to color uh, that particular uh, text. If I want to change this shape to be curved, I'll come there to change and then it will curve this particular text in this manner. So you can play with this particular program in a manner that you can be able to design anything that you want. So in the next video, it will be uh, within the same, same program, but this time around, I'll show you how to uh, design a certificate using Microsoft Word. So we have stopped here in shapes and uh, inserting the table and typing. Next, it will be how you can be able to design a certificate using Microsoft Word. Thank you so much for listening and following my video. See you next time.